Hello everybody, we've got a very much requested video today. So I talk about bioresonance a lot and I've had a lot of questions, a lot of people asking me, what do you use it for? How do I do it? How does it work? Where can I buy one? Can you teach me to use it? All these kinds of questions. So I wanted to do a live that's just dedicated to it. And even more than that, why, why we use it? What is the benefit? Why use that instead of other more um, well-established and commonly accepted um, tools? Before I do that, say hi guys. As you come along, to say hi. Even if it's post live, let me know you came. I really appreciate knowing who, like, who you are, who came to see me, who came to participate in this, who, who's up to date with what knowledge of, of what, I've, what I've spoken about. So say hi, tell me where you're from, tell me what you're doing, tell me how you are today, tell me what the weather's like, my British heritage coming out. Tell me, tell me how it's going. Hello, Gina from South Africa. It's lovely to have you. And if you like this, this is some information that is not, not, not very well known. So if you like this and you can think of anyone that this might help or someone that might be interested in this, please share it with them. Sharing my work is, is literally the single best thing you could do to help support me because it helps me reach a lot larger influence and I can help more people. So if you like anything that I'm saying or it's helpful to you, even in the, the slightest bit and you, you, you know you have friends that will benefit from this, please share it with them. Bioresonance, what is it? So it's, it's um, a technology based on Nikola Tesla's work. So for anyone, that, anyone that's interested in like free energy devices or things like that, you've probably heard of Nikola Tesla. He basically invented more than half of the technology that's in everybody's home, like electronic wise. So he invented alternate current and loads of different things. He did, he did so much cool stuff. And then um, a German doctor, Dr. Reif, using the information that like using Tesla's work. So he used that as sort of the, the blueprint. That's where he got the science and the understanding. Using this technology, he, he created quite a few inventions himself. He's got some other inventions too, but the one we're talking about now is the Rife machine. And the Rife machine works on frequencies. It uses frequency to scan, to analyze, to, to understand um, the condition that's going on in the body. So everything in this universe is you can think about it as energy, frequency, and vibration. So even matter is solidified energy. So you've got Einstein's equation, E equals MC squared. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. So even mass, even physical stuff is made of energy and frequency and vibration. And by understanding this, we can use this technology for our health. So Dr. Reif created this machine. And what he can do is, so he could, so it's got, originally the first machine was, was analog. So he had this little dial that he would turn and it would change the frequency. So it would go from one hertz to two hertz to three hertz. And he would change the frequency and go all the way up. Now databases go up to like the trillions of, the trillions of hertz. And there's like massive databases of information about this because this is from like a hundred years ago or so. So the way you use it nowadays, the, the brand that I like to use is called Spooky2. I'll leave links to this as well. If you're, if you're interested in looking at this yourself. So with the machine that I use, you can get, um, they're like, if you've ever used a TENS machine, they're sort of like patches that you just stick on your, one on your wrist and one on your ankle on the opposite side of your body. And you connect a heart rate variability monitor to your, to your finger here. This is the one that gives you the best pulse. So you stick that on and it will, the, the machine will load up all of the frequencies and it will, it will send the frequencies through your body. So it goes through this one to this one. And it's, it's using, like I said, energy, frequency, and vibration. Using this technology, um, we, we put the frequency through the body and it will either have a, it will either cause a parasympathetic or a sympathetic reaction to the nervous system, which means it goes from fight or flight or to rest and digest. So if it goes into fight or flight, that means we've, we've either killed something. If, say you have an organism in your body, some kind of pathogen. A good example is Lyme's disease. This is something I've used it for and it's incredibly effective at, especially because Lyme hides in biofilms and it's very, it's very resistant to antibiotics and it suppresses your immune system. So it's very hard to get on top of. So let's say for example, Lyme has the frequency 5,001, which means that it's, it's energetic state means it's vibrating at a frequency of, of 5,001 hertz. So when we put the body, put the frequency 5,001 through the, through the machine, through the body, it vibrates this specific thing that's vibrating at 5,001 and once it charges up enough energy in it, it causes it to vibrate so fast, it explodes and it kills the, the bacteria. When this dies, it releases all of the toxins, all of the, 
the nasty stuff that it had inside it, and this creates a stress response to the body. And then it flags up on the heart rate variability monitor as this was a stress. So that flags that frequency up. And so you can go through the whole database of frequencies. Spooky2, which is the brand I use, have got a massive database of frequencies. It goes from like, from zero to like 90,000. So it's a huge database and they've got all of the different things categorized. So like Epstein-Barr virus, Lyme's disease, whatever. But like if you've got SIBO or Candida or anything like this, you can scan yourself and it will tell you what pathogen is that's overgrowing in your intestines. You can get more localized results. So when you when you do that, the test, like I said, when you've got it on your wrist and on your on your ankle, you're testing your whole body. So that's going to help you find systemic infections, which is important. If you know you've got a gut problem, say you've got loads of bloating and stuff, you can put put them on either side of your abdomen. So like one just here and then one more towards your hip. And then the frequencies will be targeted in the gut and you'll get a more accurate response. So by, by using this, we can identify what's actually going wrong. We can figure out what, what the kind of pathogen is. And at the same time, we can use the machine to charge up the, the pathogen and explode it and kill it. And if you've, if you've listened to any of my work before, especially about these, these gut things, you know it isn't just about kill. It's not just about kill the organism. You don't develop SIBO or Candida or all of these things just because something decides to overgrow. They grow because that because your gut microbiome is out of balance. So this is a useful tool we can use, first of all, to identify with, like, what organism is overgrowing or is dysbiotic or is causing ill health. Because another thing you have to consider, just because you, you, you test positive on, um, say, a SIBO breath test, for example, that's indicating, oh, there's an overgrowth in the small intestine. But if the overgrowth is there for intelligent reason, say for example, you're unable to break down a certain food that you're eating and your body has employed these bacteria to digest this food for you because you're not breaking it down. And then you just take loads of antimicrobials and kill them all off. Well, now you're not digesting food properly. It's putrefying and you're not getting nutrients out of it and it's just making you really, really sick. So the beauty of using this machine is your body is, is responding. Like the, the wisdom of the body is so much more intelligent than we could ever fathom. Like you can cut yourself, it just heals itself. Break a bone, you set it, it heals itself. The body is always the thing that's doing the healing. The body is the thing that's really smart. Any good doctor, any good coach, any good healer that's, that's helping you recover your health will, will always have this at the forefront of their mind. It's the fact that the body is what's doing all of the heavy lifting. The body is what's doing in the work. All we do, all doctors or naturopaths or coaches like me, or anyone like traditional Chinese medicine, any kind of healer, all they're trying to do is move your body into a place of alignment with what it's trying to achieve so it can heal itself. Because you can take supplements, you can take herbs, you can take antibiotics, you can take all of these things. None of these things are what heal you. What heals you is your body. When we use this machine, we're getting a really, it's very much like a very specific targeted antibiotic. It's not just like when you take neem oil or oregano or a, like a broad spectrum antibiotic, like even rifaximin is still broad spectrum. It only works in the small intestine, but it's still killing everything in there. Lots of different kinds of microbes. When it might be just one thing or maybe two, the machine will pick it up, tells us what it is, and then we kill it. But especially when it's in the gut, it's about restoring balance. If your stomach acid isn't adequate, if your enzymes, your body isn't producing enough enzymes to break the food down fast enough, if you're not producing enough bile to emulsify fats and to cleanse the small intestine, if your motility is weak or it's too fast and you either accumulate toxins and bacteria overgrow or you're just flushing all of your nutrients out before you have a chance to absorb them, and if your gut is leaky and permeable and it doesn't have the healthy microbes on it that it needs to keep itself in balance, you can, you can kill and kill and kill and kill and kill and you'll never get anywhere. You'll never get anywhere because it's not about killing the pathogen, it's about restoring the balance. So that is what I use this machine for. It's to replace these broad spectrum, non-targeted, generalized antibiotics or antimicrobial compounds that just wipe out your whole flora, which is almost unanimously the reason you get SIBO or Candida in the first place. Because if the balance was there, naturally you're protected from, this, from these kinds of problems. You can look at, if, say you get a healthy person and they drink two cups of kefir, there's like, a hundred quadrillion bacteria in that, and they don't get an overgrowth. Why is that? It's not because bacteria in high numbers in the small intestine is bad, it's because the, 
the small intestine's ability to cleanse itself and move the flora along and keep itself clean has become damaged. So just going in there and trying to destroy everything is not the right approach. Restore the balance and it resolves itself. And if it doesn't, because there is a pathogen or there is something overgrowing or there is something we really don't want, then we can use the targeted specific frequency from the bioresonance machine, sort it out, and then, and then the balance is restored. So this is why my approach to a lot of people that I work with is very minimal on supplements because we don't need them. We can use this machine to, to target anything we need to kill and it can, it can enlighten us on a lot of different things as well. Although there isn't one specific frequency for every one specific thing, it does take a bit of investigation into it because you get octaves and subharmonics and it, it, it's a little bit complicated to explain without without confusing you but you can like one frequency has um different resonant points um I, I don't really know how to explain it but if you look at it with patterns you can look if you if you've got a good thing is you can get sand on a on a metal sheet and if they vibrate it at a frequency and it forms a pattern and then you can cycle it through and as it goes up it forms patterns that it formed before so you can't use it as strictly a diagnostic tool but it can provide you some very good insight and some direction Especially if there's things you're already ex already um, suspecting, like when I when I got my machine and I used it for my first time, I was thinking, okay, I know I've got some kinds of infections because my immune system is just wiped out. Chronic fatigue syndrome. You've definitely got some kind of infection going on. So it's like, okay, well, what is it? I was thinking, well, Lyme's disease is probably likely. Yep, popped up as my my number one frequency that caused my body the most the most response. So it was like, okay, this is the thing we really need to work on. Making a program like a graded program from the like the top 10 frequencies so like a good example of my top 10 were one of them was Lyme one of them was Epstein-Barr another one was some kind of E. coli dysbiosis that I had in my in my gut specifically so that was on there I had some murine retroviruses which are um, viruses you get from rats it's like I don't even know how I got that but I had it so it's in there and it, it annoyed my body when I ran the frequency so there's definitely some links between that murine retrovirus and chronic fatigue syndrome so load up a program with all of those things and just put it on, let the body charge the frequencies through my body and it kills the organisms. But then your body has to deal with the die-off reaction. This is, if your body's already struggling with things like chronic fatigue syndrome, it's already struggling to keep up with detox and just regular bodily function. Then you kill all these organisms, you get a Herxheimer reaction, everything's overloaded, you feel really crap, you can get like flu-like symptoms, fatigue, depression, panic attacks. So you have, to, you have to take it slow and you have to take it carefully. It's like a generic Herxheimer reaction. You have to take it really slow. It's the same kind of reaction that you'd expect to get from taking antimicrobial herbs or antibiotics or even probiotics that are fighting pathogenic organisms. All of these things can cause Herxheimer reactions. This machine can do it too. We've got a question here from Xander. So no peppermint, what about ginger? It's not, it's not that these things are bad, especially if you're taking them in relatively standard doses like if you're making ginger tea or you're making peppermint tea like that's totally fine there's nothing wrong with that it's what i'm really talking about is when people get put on herbal things for specifically antimicrobial reasons to with the intention of trying to disrupt your your, your microbiome so if you were taking like 10 drops of concentrated peppermint essential oil or like the ones i see the worst are like 20 drops of um, oregano oil that's like 86% carbacol. I mean, I'm, I'm guilty of all these things. I did all of these things myself. I took concentrated neem and allicin and um, oregano oil and all of this nasty stuff. And it's way too strong. It's way too strong. It just destroys everything. It absolutely messes with the microbiome. It pulls everything out of balance. And then you've just got a bigger problem to deal with. I did the antibiotics as well. I did, I did all of this stuff and it just, it just wrecks your gut. It just it creates even more disharmony than you already have. And that's why you see lots of people with these problems repeating the same treatment, antibiotics, 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 like three different rounds of antifungals or all these different kinds of herbs, trying a different herbal treatment. It doesn't work. It's not about killing, it's about restoring balance. But when it is about killing, this tool is far, it's like, instead of just nuking your whole microbiome, just setting off a nuclear bomb, it's like firing this little pinpoint laser. It's like, and it just gets the one that you need to kill and, it, and it's done. Like I said though, this is sort of like temporarily outsourcing your immune system. All we're trying to do here is kill off 
pathogenic organisms your body isn't able to keep up with, which is another reason I said it's really good for Lyme, because Lyme suppresses your immune system, so you get really stuck. So we, we outsource this till your immune system is able to build itself back up. So we're doing this, we're killing the pathogens, we're making it so you're able to digest your food, we're focused on nutrient density, we're focused on restoring the microbiome, we're focused on good hormonal health, high digestibility of your foods. All of these things are also important. You can't just say, I'm gonna get this, this magical machine, I'm just gonna run it and I'm cured. It's not that simple. It's a useful tool that we can use in place of um, antimicrobials and antibiotics and things like that. Um, another thing that I really like about it is we can talk about biofilms. So when you take things like um, antibiotics or antimicrobials, sometimes they can't actually reach the bacteria that they need to kill because they're hiding in biofilms. A biofilm is basically a structure of the previous generations of that bacteria or whatever it is, and they sort of nest themselves so that antibiotics can't get in. They create themselves a barrier. Best part about this technology is its energy, its frequency, its vibration. It goes through any conductive surface. Biofilms, because they are deceased bacteria, they have moisture in them, they're conductive. These frequencies go straight through biofilms. Biofilms, they don't, they don't stop this machine from working at all. They completely by bypass biofilms. That way you don't need to use like, a good example is something like Interface Plus or other biofilm busters. They're just not necessary because it just goes straight through them and just, it doesn't matter. Sander makes ginger tea with lime. I bet that is absolutely delicious. I really like ginger tea with um, a bit of turmeric in it. It makes it um, really, really orange and it's very warming. And yeah, the lime, the citrus, that, that's, really, that's really nice. So I bet you really like that, it's really good. It's really great, it's a really great tea. And you see how when you're doing it like that, it's, you're using whole foods. You're not concentrating oregano to drops. Like one drop of oregano oil is like five grams of loose leaves. Like you wouldn't even eat five grams of loose leaves in like a super oregano flavored pizza or, or whatever it is. Even the most intense oregano dish, you wouldn't eat that much. And then you drink 20 drops of it. It's absolutely so powerful and not necessary because it's, it's about balance. It's not about killing, it's about balance. Um, did I want to cover anything else? So just a little bit about supplements. So this is why my approach is a very supplement, supplement, um, supplementless. We don't really use many. Sometimes, most of the time vitamin D is important. Um, sometimes a digestive enzyme can be helpful. And I also like these, um, these transdermal multivitamin patches. So when your gut's all like messed up, you don't know how well you're breaking food down, you don't know how well you're absorbing any, everything. These are patches that you can stick on your skin. I've, I've got one on at the minute, I've got one on my back. And they just help to cover all the bases. They've got all of the, they've got like all of the vitamins, a bunch of the more important minerals and even trace minerals like molybdenum and things like that. You just stick them on your skin and you absorb them. They're called Patch MD. That might be something you want to look into. I can send you a link if you want, just let me know. But I think that's, I think that's pretty much everything for, for bioresonance. Brand I use is Spooky2. I can also provide you with a link. I've got a video of um, like the Spooky2 in action. You can see what it does to a bacteria when it hits its resonant frequency. The bacteria's there, they start getting really wound up and they start fidgeting and then it just explodes and all of its like toxins and stuff leak out and you can see it. So if you want to see a video of that, I'll leave it in the, um, the description of this as a post live edit or just comment and I'll leave it as a response to your comment as well. Um, if you need anything, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them in the, in the uh, comment section below. Um, give me thumbs up, give me hearts. If this was helpful to you, please let me know. So any questions, let me know. Please share it with your friends if this helped or if this is even something that might be remotely helpful to somebody, please share it. It's the, it's the number one way you can help me. So if you like this, please share it with one of your friends or just post it on your wall, anything. See you guys soon. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.